Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how to get the most out of your monitor. Now, if you're rocking a ultra wide monitor like this, you need to get the most out of your real estate. And I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Now, because this is a single monitor, it's important that we use the monitor correctly and get the most use out of the space that we've been allocated by this ultra wide monitor. Now, they come varied in size. So it's important that we use that size correctly. And I'm going to show you a way how we can utilize the full width of this screen and get the most out of it. So first off, what you need to do is head over to the link in the video description and download Power Toys. Now, Power Toys has a cool little program in it called Fancy Zones. It's a free application and you can use it to portion out the monitor into little segments so you can use certain parts of that monitor say for instance your browser your video editing or your video playing or whatever it is you want to do it'll all come more clear once we get into the actual application so this is power toys once you've got it installed go to fancy zones and inside here you're going to see uh, enable fancy zones make sure it's enabled and you can then launch the editor this is going to allow you to edit your uh, real estate on your monitor to segment it out into much more manageable portions so you can see here activation uh, shortcut uh, launch editor to display and then we've got a bunch of other uh, zone behaviors here which you can mess around with i pretty much leave these as is and then you can move on down to the zone appearance and you can change the windows default to whatever you like here a custom colors if you want to change the color layout you can do I'm going to leave this as default blue and uh, also we can change the opacity and you can see here show zone numbers. These are going to break them down into zones basically where you can put different things in those zones. So inside here we've got also Windows behavior. This is going to be all the behavior parts of the fancy zones and you can go through these and have a look at them and check mark them if you want them on or off. I'm just going to leave these off for this particular video but you could set this up yourself later on when you've got it installed on your system so that is the windows behavior section here there's also another area which uh, deals with the windows switching and also a new window and previous windows so you can do that as well and uh, we've also got some other things on here which is like snap to uh, the feature called snap to uh, we've disabled that inside this program so inside the program itself you'll see We've got the fancy zones editor here. You've got no layout, which is a full screen. We've got focus. You've also got columns. And then we've also got rows. You can see the columns here. This will be all um, basically zoned out into this area. So rows, grid, and we've also got priority grid, which is something that I like to use myself because we've got a nice bit of real estate in the middle and some uh, zones on the end which you can use for say discord or some sort of um, uh, web browsing or something like that or a document that you're reading so once you go to edit here you can edit the priority grid we will have a number of zones here how many you want and you can also go space around the zones and we have the highlighted distance here i like to change the space around the zone to around about two just to reduce it down because they are quite chunky so just use the slider or you can just use the cursor keys on the uh, keyboard to get this more accurate if you want to. The number of zones will go up to a maximum of 40. I'm pretty sure that you're not going to want 40 zones on your monitor. But if you want to have more zones, you can do that. And you can also create your own zones as well. Once you're happy with your selection, you can save. And if you want to create your own one, you can do. So let me go ahead and click on save on this. And basically, we can then take a look of what we've created here. We do have that create new layout, which I'll show you in a second. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it's actually done to the actual monitor screen here. So I'll zoom out a little bit here. Now this may look a bit funky on your 1080p monitor or something like that. For that, I do apologize, but I wanted to show you in uh, an ultra wide monitor so you can see. So you can see here, the lines are a lot smaller now. We've made those smaller. And now all you can do here is just hold the shift key down and you can just snap these into position here, like so. And they'll be nicely snug in that position. So let me go ahead and open up something else here so you can see what it looks like. Let's just say you're doing a bit of video editing, and I'm just going to snap that into the center part, which gives me a bit more real estate in the center. 
And again, on the right hand side, this could be a web page or something along those lines. Now you can set yours up how you like, but basically this will give me a uh, maximum uh, real estate for this particular type of monitor. So you can see once I've got this snapped in, I can use the browsing feature or I can read an article or I can read some notes if I'm doing some sort of video editing. And again, you can snap in any sort of programs you like into these zones and you can create what zones you like, get creative. And also, if you wanted to go full screen on any of these applications, you just click on the full screen and it will take preference and go straight over to the full monitor screen if you wanted to do that. So let me just quickly show you here. If I went full screen, it will just go full screen and it will override the zones straight away. And you could just move them around and snap them into location just like that. Very simple and easy to do. If you want to open up another program, you can open it up and then basically snap that into location as well. So let me just quickly snap this in and you'll see exactly how easy it is to work. So just basically hold the shift key down and snap it in. Simple as that. Now Windows does have a built-in snap feature, but this seems to work a lot better in my personal opinion for me on an ultra wide monitor. So if you've got an ultra wide monitor, uh, then look at something like this. Now they do have other software out there on the market, which is some of them are paid, but I find for the free version, this is uh, good enough for me for what I need. So let me just go ahead and show you something else like creating your own personal uh, zoned out area here. So let me go ahead and go back into the program itself. And I'll show you how to create your own uh, profile for your own zones here. So let's go back in to the application and we'll take a look at what it looks like. So the program is now open and I can go into here and create a new layout. So let's go ahead and create a new layout. Inside here, you can give the layout its own name. So I'm going to call this, say, for instance, Brightech, and we can either do a grid or canvas. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to start off with a grid and we'll click on grid and then create a grid. So now we can see we do have a free tiered uh, zone here. You can add more zones in with the mouse here and I can just segment this out like this and you can make it as weird as you like. If you've got something small at the bottom that you want to do, I'm just going to leave this here like this. But the thing is, it's made free equal zones and then basically give me an extra little bit here. So why would you do that? Well, you could do something like this where you could have a little video playing, have your Discord open, and you're not going to be really doing much video editing in that small zone there. But you get the general idea. You can uh, you know, get more creative with yours, depending on the width of your ultra wide monitor. Some of these ultra wide monitors are massive. Uh, this one is only a, a 34 inch uh, ultra wide, which is a 44 inch 2K ultra wide. And if you want to see a review of this Alienware monitor, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to do a review of my new monitor and also some of my audio equipment I've been purchasing for the channel so you get better audio. So let's take a look at the end result here. Pretty nice. I think you get it nice and organized and get maximum use out of your ultra wide monitor. And it also it will increase productivity because you're organizing your workflow a lot better. So if this helps, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know down there what sort of monitor you've got. I'd be interested to read your comments. Or do you prefer a dual monitor setup over the ultra wide monitor setup? Have you had a ultra wide monitor and you've gone back to a dual monitor setup? I'll be interested to have that conversation in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts are. Also, if you're looking for paid software with a pretty good organization and also you can jump from uh, one profile to another with that, let me just show you this paid software because I'm pretty sure people are going to mention it in the comment section as well. And the software is called Display Fusion. It's not free. You will have to pay for it but it is pretty good as well. And it does give you some other features that uh, Fancy Zones doesn't give you. So have a look at it. Maybe it's something that you're interested in. I'll leave the link for both of these in the video description and uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Anyway, that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. A special shout out goes to David Lees. Also, uh, Welid, RTX Brody, Edward Kelly, Albert Hewson, Celtic Lad, PC Repair Tech, Vitality, Phil's Computer Repair, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, 
Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony. I really do appreciate the support, guys. I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.